Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Well, Vinny's here. Welcome to the Crafter After Show, where we get to talk about whatever we want to talk about. The crafty sidekick shenanigans. She's over on the other side. Now, I did see something interesting. Somebody prevented the video. In other words, they liked it before we even got here. But we want you to vent the video. So give us a thumbs up if you enjoy yourself. Everything you see tonight in the Crafter After Show can be purchased in our online craft store at www.mamamadeit.com. So go there. Uh, Tamitha uh, does a fantastic job of posting the links every time we show a product. And so you can just click on that link and it'll take you right to the place where you can purchase it from our store. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, be sure to subscribe and uh, ring the bell so you get notified whenever my may post a new video what we got going for this point first i want to say thank you to auntie gliz that's a sweet comment that she made and i just saw it when i when i looked up and it was very kind so thank you very much for that and um i want to do something i forgot what it was because i got excited about what she said to me so um we're gonna look at some new product and what was it i was gonna say because it was funny anyway if you did preview any of the video we appreciate it oh Here's something I want to tell you. In the last show, just as we were signing out, someone said, how do we tag you? I had mentioned if you make one of the cards like we did tonight, if you're just getting here, this is what we did in the pre-show, in the other show. The crafter. The show. crafter show. If you make one of these, we ask you to share it or tag us on social media. Basically what you do, say you're going to Facebook and you want to tag us. If you start typing May May Made It, it'll typically pop up where you can highlight it or you can type the at symbol in front of may may made it so like most places just type at may may made it and it, it'll highlight it that means we'll get tagged in it so that means i get a notification that doesn't mean i'm gonna see your notification the same day because i'm real slow about getting to them but i will see them eventually because i do sit down and look at them um when i'm like in the car or whatever i sometimes get to look at them and not um, driving riding i know i don't drive so uh, <laughs> you can know if i'm filming or on the phone i ain't driving because i don't drive i i drive from work to here that's it Shannon drives me if we have to leave here and Vince drives me if we have to leave here. So there you go. But yeah, you can tag us by using the at symbol. And it, like I said, it'll typically make, it'll either pop up us or something like that. And you'll be able to see it before I forget. This is very important to um, April 1st was so charming's 10 year anniversary. Y'all know so charming is where I get my fabric from. Penny and Emily are our personal friends. They are also teaching at craft Acropolis and they have a local store. Tomorrow and Saturday, if you're local or if you're not, here's a reason to road trip. They're having a big sale. Like they posted that they have some items up to 50% off. That's massive. And if you think I'm not going to be there, if not tomorrow, Saturday, <laughs> you you will know I will be there because I'm going to go celebrate with them and I want to go get a good deal. So I just want to mention it. I don't know if it's online. Can you message Penny and see if her sale is online also? Somebody asked where your flowers came from. Um, oh, Boom. thanks for asking. Right here. How great are these little flowers? This is um, Basket Builder. This is a little stamp set. I've got it zoomed in. I'm going to have to zoom out. Um, this is a little stamp set we've got called Basket Builder. And we also have a companion um, set that goes with this that have other little pieces. But aren't those flowers the cutest thing? And you don't have to do anything but stamp them and color them. And Shannon colored. She's been working on these this afternoon. Look how cute they are. Well, we, she stamped them and she was going to use them. I was thinking she, about putting them on this card. Didn't. I didn't. I ended up with the stars. But, but I couldn't cute? help myself. I had to color. And look, if you do two, you just stamp them and you're, you don't even have to plan the flowers. They're done. Isn't that neat? Um, what is your web page so I can post? I'm not sure what that question is. Does that mean pennies? I'm not sure. Um, the web page. So she, where, where does she post her card picture? Oh, maymaymadeit.com under the customer gallery. Or Facebook at um, May May Made It and So Did I. Yep. All right, you guys. Go check go check out So Charming. Tell them I sent you. Say Good morning, Julianne. May May keeps talking about you. You better go watch her show because she keeps talking about you. She won't be worried about it. <laughs> Can you be like, if she's talking about me, she's giving somebody else a break. That's what she'll say. It's a good subject. <laughs> she'll say it's a good subject. That's what she'll say. <laughs> Let me show you some across the miles. We have some really cute stuff. I got to show you this box. Okay. Actually, do you have a post-it note? Oh, I have. Mm, that won't do it. Let me just do that. Yeah. Off of it? yeah. Boom. So you can't see through it. No, we'll do this. Look at this box. Do you see how cute this is? She drew all over it. it says, hello, God loves you through and through. If you know, you know. 
the real deal. That's so cute. And then she did make a joyful noise and she has little chicks everywhere, right? And I'm I like the happy, happy, without. happy. And it, this tape says Happy Meal on it, which is super cute. Then when you go to the inside where her return address won't be. By the way, this is from Amy Powers. And I know she's on because I saw her earlier. Look at this. Look how oh, cute that is. That's so pretty. I'm pretty sure they're all die cuts. I don't think they're ephemera pieces. I think she cut them out. Pretty sure she did. And then look, here's a little note. Is Amy here? Say hello if you are. And... Shannon, read this, please. My voice has been going all day, and it's going to go in the show. I just know it. <clears throat> May May and crew. God blessed the day I found your channel and community on YouTube. I'm a full-time caregiver for my 90-year-old dear sweet daddy. I'm not going to lie. It is hard work, but the Lord led me to find you, and you inspired me to take up crafting again <laughs> in a big way. I set up a craft space outside my dad's room, and happily, while away... Hold on, happily. While away, my days making pretty things. Thank you for inspiring me and keeping me company. With so much love, Amy Powers. Yeah, she's here. You're so cute. Amy, what this is adorable. Well, and look, he's made the slide like this, but he also comes out so I can sit him like this. Boing, boing. I got to show y'all that. I'm going to do it this way. Ready? Boing, boing. He's so cute. Uh, that is precious. Adorable. And he will shut down into his little card. That's so cute. And then he will wrap over. Thank you very much for this. It's very adorable. And then that look is at adorable. Ducks. Look at ducks, ducks, Joyful ducks. and Hope. I love that sticker. Very pretty. And then this is a wean wrapped in yarn. How cute is that? Do you see the little wean? Can y'all see it? And then look at these. Um, oh, I didn't even see this. How pretty is this? It's like a little nosegay. It's what it reminds me of. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Oh, it's a pin. Oh, I could have worn this Easter Sunday. It would have been pretty on my floral shirt. I wore a floral shirt. It would have been perfect. That's okay. I'll use it next year. Okay, look. And then these little guys. Look. Carrots and chicks. Lint chocolate. So y'all know it's good. Nom. And nom I think I got everything nom. in there. Thank you so much, Amy. I love this. This is a very sweet, bright, cheerful gift. Did you make these flowers? Because, wow, my eyes can't even hardly see them anymore. These are beautiful. And I, I really love that you while away your time. But I'm also, um, I know what it's like to be a caregiver. Um, probably not to the extent you do at this point. Look at let me just do that. I'm sorry. But um, I know your dad appreciates you very much. Vinny is um, the caregiver for his parents right now. And he knows what that pressure is like. You know, it's a lot, right? Okay. Let's look at this next one. Let's look at this next it's a birthday present. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she did. They are quilled. <laughs> Wishing you open oceans of happiness. And then look on your birthday. Happy birthday. This is cute. What is quilled? Um, Amy's flowers. Oh, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. Who is this from? Oh, that was the note telling me that she forgot to put, um, any information regarding who the gift was from in the package. Okay. So. I don't guess I have to read your note. Okay. I just want to make sure I wouldn't miss anything. And this is your gift. All right, here we go. Look at this. I don't know what it at is. The beach. You haven't seen it? Well, open do you want it. to open it? No, it's fine. You have the big camera. So um, basket open. Builder, this is the companion stamp set. Yeah. And she did it with the little towel and everything. That's super right, cute. cute. You don't want to do it. You can pull it. You have the big camera. Here we go. I won't look. I knew so I couldn't look. make it as Actually, pretty look. again. We'll let you see it first. Ooh. Oh, oh look at this. Look at this. A coaster. It's not. I know exactly what this is. This is very cool. Is she on here? It, oh, it smells. It still smells like the candle. Is this from? I didn't. It's know. um, Linda? it's uh, uh, Sonia, Sonia McMillan. I know exactly what this. Y'all ready for this? Watch this. It's a mini album in oh a recycled candle goodness. jar. And you know why I know what this is? Because I made one of these on my channel about thirty years ago now. 
Isn't it cool? It's yeah. a great way to use a old candle jar is to well, make I yourself have tons of beach pictures. Yeah. And then I can go and fill that up. Then it's a conversation piece. When that people would be come around. so cute on my coffee table. It's really neat, isn't it? So, you so, it. so I happen to know there's so a video excited. on my channel showing you how to do this. <laughs> that is, the that is really neat. I That kind of takes me back. And I love that she did that. I love that. Look at this. That is so cool. chinda has got her hand over here. Like, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Save this. Save this for your um album. Oh, that candle smells so That's good. That's the thing about it, too. You get to keep the candle scent, too. It's gracious. Neat. And here's your box. That's cool. Jar album. That smells like coffee. Isn't that crazy? I love that so much. Like, I never it's saw like anybody Like, my favorite things, it. the beach and coffee. Tamitha, how long ago was that video put out? Because somebody said somebody's been binge watching, and I agree. <laughs> now, this is from Georgia Summerfield, right? Yes. Okay. First off, this candy bar, which I will tell you about in a second. Then... We have, oh, look at these. So these are the ornaments she said she made with, um, in Penny's class, I mean, in Missy. Missy's class. Look how pretty these are. These are going to go onto our subscriber Christmas tree. 11 years there. ago. That video was 11 years ago that I did that. Isn't that crazy? That's why it's so cool to see it. Like, I like that is so neat. Is she here today? What if? What if she didn't even see mine? What if she saw somebody else do it? You see what I'm saying? That is cool. All right. This says May May on it. Let's see what this is. Let us see. That candle smells delicious. Oh. This is so precious. You have no way of knowing this, but my mother always had one of these in her purse. Always, she had one of these fancy bedazzled notebooks and a fancy bedazzled pen, and she made her notes with it. And I'm putting this in my purse. This she literally always had. She, as a matter of fact, what did she call this, Vince? Do you remember her BlackBerry? She called it her BlackBerry. <laughs> she had it. So, she had them so long. Um, my dad got a BlackBerry when they were brand new, and he would make all his notes in there, and he'd always be on it, whatever. And mom said, I'm jealous. I don't have a Blackberry. So she would buy these notebooks and call them her Blackberry. <laughs> and you can know if she ever said, I have misplaced my Blackberry. We knew what she was talking about. It was this. So I love this so much. Thank you. That means the world to me. I will put that in my purse, and I will use it and enjoy it. I will hug it and squeeze it and call it George. I'm surprised she didn't <laughs> call it her diary. No, yours was the diary. Mine was a This diary. may be your diary. I feel like it could be your diary. <laughs> So when Shannon went um, out of town, my mom came and sat at her desk and said, oh, I found her diary. It was not her diary, but she went through it and left a note and said, I read your diary. Shannon, sorry it's late. This is yours. It's quite all right. Georgia Summerfelt. Look at this. I like the ice cream. Look, everybody's like, I loved my Blackberry. Mom never had a real one. Oh, look. Oh. That's... And what's funny is... My password book that your mom called my diary is also turquoise. It's also this color. <laughs> and look at your pen. This I'm telling you, my so mother pretty. had these. And I was like, Mom, where do you find this? I would never even see this somewhere. She's like, I just find these little things when I'm out and about. And she would pick them up. And she always had one. And I remember, as a matter of fact, I cannot say it because I have adopted some of mother's things that she wrote. But she would keep some of her passwords and stuff in here. And I remember when they got their new Wi-Fi a decade or more ago when they got their new Wi-Fi, the, she didn't know she could change the password. So in one of her books in the back, she had written the password that came with it and it wrapped around because <laughs> it was so long. I will never forget that. That's so funny. That is so sweet. Thank you very much. Thank what you. a sweet memory to bring back for us. I appreciate so that. Very sweet. When we had our house fire. We called our notebook that we kept everything in our brain too. I had a notebook. I still have the notebook. I haven't gotten rid of it. It's over there on the shelf. And I called it the brain because we wrote everything down that we needed to replace, you know, and, and we had everything in it and we, I called it the brain. And Georgia also sent these wonderful smelling. They smell. Oh, listen, there's something in that one. These bath bombs and the note said her friend made it. This is called the melon ball. And this is oat milk and honey. These are amazing. So we can rest in the tub and make notes in our blackberries. Love it. Now, here's what I got to ask y'all a question. Did you sell these in school? I'm going to. That's gonna, caramel, so we're going to have to open that I'm going to. I know y'all hate when we eat on camera. We'll cover it up. I'm going to have to have like them this. taste this. 
I remember selling these in school. It's the world's finest chocolate. Now they didn't come in this um, foil I'll back you then. Know in just a minute, they came the in paper. But I remember these being the best candy bars and thinking, why can't we get these all the time? Do y'all remember these? So Sold them for band. Were those the ones that were like wrapped in the gold and then had the paper sleeve around them? Yes. And you sold them in the box. You got your box and you took it with you. You remember? I didn't sell We them. sold them in the band. I just always bought them for a dollar because I love the best chocolate. Chocolate filled with the caramel like this. Is that not delicious? My favorite. I love that chocolate. Thank you so much for that. The caramel always sold out first. I like the one with nuts in it. I think it had almonds in it. This one. You know, I've seen them on people's counters in our town. Like, I guess they put them up for their kids. They had them at Three Amigos a while they, back. Yeah, I think they put them up when their kids are selling them and they put them out. They're so good. All I right. purposefully. Um, this two down here or no? Yes. No, that was the empty done. box. Yeah. You purposely what? Um. When Noah and the school did them, um, I didn't buy the box because I knew I would eat it. They're so good. All right. I'm going to show you. Why did she leave this in the bubble wrap? Did she think I would destroy it? Probably. I don't know. All I right. Know she thought you didn't need it. So she oh, left I, it in the bubble wrap. I don't need it. Okay. We're going to get to a new product. This is AC cardstock. Now, here's the thing about this. As much as I love this cardstock, and I do. What I mostly love about it is this container. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Just a wee bit. There we go. So basically, this cardstock comes with its own container. So you see the side. It goes up like this. It's almost like one of those magazine holders. See how it goes to the side like this? So you can flip through and see all the colors in it. But you take this little piece and you tear it off. It's perforated. You tear it off. And then you store your papers that way. And what we do... This is literally where the idea for all those holders that I made came from. This is it. This is I was like, I want that for every single cardstock. So then what you have, these are mine that I use. Then you have this right on your shelf. You see this uh, sticking out. And what we do when we cut a piece, we put our scrap in the front of this. So we know that this colorway, that's where we find the scraps. So instead of putting them back into um, bin, Sometimes it makes it to be in. It depends. Sometimes they do. But for the most part, we try to put our scraps in the front of these guys so they match that card, that um, cardstock, and we know where to get those colors. So this one is available in our store. This one is called Neutrals. And I also love this because if you want to know what colors are in them, here's a scene for you to see it. Every time they all have a different scene. They also have the colors on the back, right? They also yes. do. They and do. Um, I have to tell you, when you go to try and match a color, make sure you pull it out all the way because they kind of like to reflect off of the color in front of it as far as the shades go. So sometimes your pink looks like a totally different pink when you pull it all the way out than when you look at it in there. So Tanya said everybody should sell their cards out like that. And they, oh, should. they should. They should. Absolutely. It, it's amazing. I, and I can see me when I'm done with this, when I, I don't know when I'll get through a whole one, but I can see me using this again. You know what I'm saying? Like covering it with something and using it again because it's so handy to have mm -hmm. you just tear that little piece off and it's, it's fabulous. It's really, really worth the time I'm spending to tell you about it because it's really good. It really yep. is. And there's your colors. Also, this is a textured cardstock. It's got a little bit of a linen feel to it. There it goes. It's beautiful cardstock. I love it. Matter of fact, um, the orange, this card is made from it. This one is made from um, cardstock I pulled from one. There's a piece out behind you if you want okay. to show it. The purple one that uh -huh. I'm using. So I'm working on Saturday's video, and this is one of the colors I'm using, and this is it. Let's get it where you can see it. This is like, I call this aubergine. I'm sure they have a name for it. Yeah, I'm I think it get it where like you can see the plum, texture. I think. It's not quite folks. The on light's it. blowing yeah. it out. Y'all saw yeah, it on that other mind. one. You did. But it's wow. very pretty cardstock. Yeah, it's just not. We need all of them. You do. We need I all of them. We. I'm gonna tell you. Matter of fact, today I thought I need to move this cardstock because I'm only using it. But it don't bother me. I go to it all the time because I have it in my little. The other thing is, if you have the cubby shells, it stands up and you're looking at your colors. It's so cool. I love it. So cool. 
I want to say thank you to everyone watching on Facebook tonight. I haven't mentioned that earlier, but uh, it's great to have you there on Facebook. Thanks to the technology that we use, we're able to broadcast live in both places on YouTube and on Facebook. So thank you for watching there. And we appreciate that very much. I'm super, super, super excited about these pieces. So when Eileen talked with us, these are mine, by the way, that's why I'm open room. When Eileen talked with us, she did her journal and she does this a lot in her. What have I done? Hey, just a quick hmm. question uh, that's been posed by Create for Many. Are all of the colors textured? Mm -hmm. All of the pages are textured. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but Eileen uses elastic cord in her books to add pieces, to add things to the spine, to make like a traveler style journal, things like that. So I put it to Amber. I challenged her to find us some elastic cord, not just black or white, which we do have black and white in the store, but I wanted some other colors. And look at this. So this is stretchy cord. See that? So you can make a closure out of it. You can make, um, you can put your um, travel journals, they're your signatures in your journals with it. You can use it to tie into your spines and then take stuff in and out. Um, and she did. Somebody said she did, she good. did good. She really did. Look, she found, um, look, stretchy glitter cord. You can use that one. This has also got a little glitter to it and it's also stretchy. Let me grab a piece. It's tight. This one, you see how it's folding over? So it's all stretchy elastic cord. And here's the best part. Six colors, four yards of each. So you get four yards of each of these. And I want to say that there are another, there is, or there is another colorway, I think. This, that's crazy. $3.99 wow. for six, for 24 yards of elastic. That's good. Six times four is 24, right? You are correct. That's really a good deal. So I was really good with my sixes. I, I love the that. colors. I love the colors. And I love how we have options. This is a thinner one. So it'd be great for beading if you wanted to put those, you know, like those, um, the letter beads we have. Be great for that. A bead. Mm -hmm. I also want to say, Michelle, you did ask about my dad enjoying the birthday cards. He absolutely loved them and wanted to make sure that I said thank you to all of you that took the time to send him a card. It meant a lot to him, for sure. Um, we appreciate when y'all do cards. It's so sweet. All right, check this one out. So the finger blade. I... Amber and I had a miscommunication. <laughs> Either I said it and didn't mean it, or I said it about a different product, but I told, she said, I told her I didn't want to bring this back. And I was like, well, I didn't mean that. <coughs> so we got it back again. So a finger blade, like this is the finger blade. Okay. This is it. And then what happens is you put your finger, you hold it like this and you can draw, basically you draw it back, which I love. Okay. And we also got the replacement blades because mine Yay. is dead. Mine needs a blade. Deader than dead. It is. It's it really bad. bad. I mean, it is even not even sharp on the end. Like if you can see it, it's just dull. <laughs> so I needed blades. Goodness, she got the blades as well. So we have the finger blade back. And a lot of you guys have been asking about this because that's when somebody asked me and they were like, I've been asking about it, but it's not back. And I said, why not? And she said, you told me not to bring it back. It was clearly something else. So I don't know what it was, but it wasn't this because I love, this is my favorite. But we do have, because when we were at Creativation, I fell in love with another blade that I found. Um, and so we have another one coming to give you an option. If you don't care too much about this, this motion, we have another one coming. So, um, but I love this one. One more question about the AC cardstock. Is it only textured on one side it is or only both sides? On one side. One side. Um, That's a good thing to say. The thing about it is smooth on the back and textured on the front. Oh, there's the texture. See it? Yeah. But the reason it's important to say it's textured is because textured cardstock reacts different than smooth. Even though it's smooth on one side, this cardstock reacts different than smooth on both sides. It is a, you can see it's a little bendier. It gives a little easier, even though it's solid on one side. And you can use the other side. That's not a problem. But just know it reacts. See how soft it is? It reacts different. But I use it constantly. So I was going to say, we used that cardstock to make the little stoves that May May has on the channel. So it is strong enough to do that. For Noah's birthday? Um, Lucy's birthday. Lucy's birthday. These, the cinch, the, the thermal cinch, these are the adhesive strips that you need for your extra pieces. That's what's in here. It's the glue strip. It goes like that. And it's what melts in the thermal cinch. And then 
I like to have some felt on hand. This is just me. It may not be you, but I like to have some felt on hand. There's something about spring and summer that makes me like to use felt. I don't know what it is. So I said to Amber, Amber, can we get some felt? Well, she didn't find just felt. Look at this. She got adhesive backed felt. So we can run this through our dye machine and cut things out and then put it all together and then just stick it down. Isn't that cute? And it's all different colors. I don't that know. you made earlier today. Oh my goodness, that would be cute. So look, all these different colors. There's not adhesive, so color, they're sticking. No. You don't want not them to be this color? Small. No, not too small. But look how cute. Yeah, this Jean is. Marie, color. I'm going to say that the AC cardstock is solid core, not white core. It's solid core. Correct. Um, so I right, believe sir. that is right. And, and they do, they do have a pack of white, um, solid a solid white pack and black. Um, I don't know if they have black. I know we have a solid white pack of it. Um, cause we use that a lot. That's strange. Isn't it? Yeah. Cause I don't think we have it in black. Y'all wonder what we're talking about. Not panicking about. This is so funny to me. This is so funny. So Amber came in. Amber is, Amber is doing a really good job with product. Let me tell y'all, but okay. She knows what's coming ahead of time and all that kind of stuff. Like I never know. Vince never knows. She knows. I can't keep up with it. I don't I know, know what's coming. Cause I see it too. But she knows. Well, I mean like. She literally knows. So here's what she does. And I love this about her, okay? I'm just going to tell y'all. I probably shouldn't say in front of Vince, but just so you know. Let's say that a paper pack comes in that we've ordered, but the ephemera didn't come in that order. What she does is she holds it till it all shows up so that when it's time to show you, everything we have is in stock. That's what she tries to do. Now, if we have something that's going to be weeks from each other, she may go ahead and let us show something here or there. But if she knows this is coming in in two days, I'm going to hold it. So like the B paper. She knew how popular it was going to be. And she's like, if I show just the paper, you're going to have to pay shipping multiple times. And she tries to keep that down for you. Well, she's been doing that with these as well. But today they were, they were supposed to be here today, but they're coming tomorrow. The box, yes. there were two boxes that didn't get dropped yes. off. And she's like, but they're really good. So what I want, she said, what I want you to do is show them tonight and tell them they can get them tomorrow. She's like, I don't want them to miss out. She didn't want you to wait a week on these. And I love that. Also. This particular one, the packaging was wrong or backwards or something? It was the wrong packaging and upside down. Yeah. They put it in the package of the other one and they put it upside down. So I took it out. But that is the name of it written on there. And it's supposed to be in tomorrow. So these, we already showed one, didn't we? Um, no, it was a little we, different. It was a little showed different. The corner this notcher one. so we just showed this one tuesday this is the corner notcher this is the one you can make an envelope with it like does the um notch for an envelope and somebody reminded me that we can also make a bow with this it's true you know you how you can make a um envelope punch board bow you can do that here too so it's really really handy for this one and this one just came in not long ago i think tuesday okay these are three die i mean three punch punches so you get this circle you get this corner round and you get this corner round. So if you don't have a corner rounder yet and would also like to have a hole punch, this is the one for you. This one is actually called three in one corner and hole. Okay. I think somebody's confused. The felt is already in stock. Mm -hmm. These punches are the ones that will not be here. These till will tomorrow. be here tomorrow. Tam said the felt's not showing. Give me a second. Ta um, let felt. Shannon work on that. Sorry about that. This is what we're talking about is not here yet. This will be here tomorrow. This is the one, this is the one y'all are going to be wanting to jump on. Okay. Let me show you why. This is scallop, ticket tab, and then decorative. Okay. This one is called cloud corner punch. Three in one cloud quarter punch. It's similar to the crocodile. So what Shannon did was she took a piece of the one to show y'all this. This is the dress my craft punch size compared to your crocodile. So if you have the crocodile already, you might want to get this one to get the little dainty one. So you can use both sizes. So they're a little bit smaller than each other, which I think are these, these are a little smaller than this. And what I like about that is if you're wanting to do tabs inside your mini albums and stuff, this is a really good size for that. It's, it's um, delicate. And I like that. So these will be here tomorrow. We won't spend too much time on them. They'll be Didn't here tomorrow. We show the angles at all the different sizes Tuesday as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought we had. Yeah, it's in this, but it's an angle punch. Uh -huh. That's what I was saying. Yeah. So we also got this with three angles. On That's what back, we did too. It shows the other 
all three of them? I thought we had because I thought we we were confusing ourselves so bad up front with all of these punches. Yeah, there's the angle, and I had it. Oh, yeah. here it is. Look. Okay, I knew I couldn't find it. We have this one in stock already. It's three angles. Three angles in that one. Yeah. Okay. This is a back in stock item. So I want to show you all this. Actually, I have one of these open. Can you grab that one? So I have to open this one. Yeah. This is a um. Prima memory, it's called Memory Hardware. It's a um, mini album from Prima. Adorable. So Frank Garcia is the designer of this one. And it's magnet. I still have this on it. I'm going to take this off. We don't have to have this on here anymore so y'all can see it. This is my album. All right, come on. So the front already has its magnets installed, which is wonderful. And then you open it up. And inside, what I really like about it, it has that chipboard page like we fell in love with, with those uniquely creative ones. But this one, do you see this looseness that it's got to it? I think that will allow you a little bit of give. And I really like that. I think that's pretty cool. So these are back in stock. They were, y'all got them. They're back in stock. What's out of stock now? Um, all of these little punches that we showed Tuesday I have, sold, think out. have sold out by now. But the other two the other won't be two here till tomorrow. Coming. And yeah. they do say sold out on them. And she told me to tell you, they say sold out right now, but they'll be here tomorrow. All right. Y'all want to see paper? Should I save my favorite for last? I love to do that to y'all. Because it's my favorite. I don't know. All these are really good. These are real good. Okay, check this out. We've fallen in love with this um, AC cardstock. We have fallen in love with these packs of these multiples. Shannon and I have been reaching for these left and right. Here's the ephemera. Y'all are, where's my purple girls? Y'all are freaking out. Where is Tina? Is Tina Montville on here tonight? I That's have not Tina. seen Tina. Tina, need, is she gone now? No, not yet. I haven't seen Oh, her. I don't she know. may be. Maybe. I'm going to have to reach out and find out. But look at it because we may have to hold one of these for her. <laughs> she loves her purple. This is very Tina to me. This feels like her. Maybe a little too floral, but it's absolutely perfect colors. Who else is my purple friends? Look how pretty I mean, this is. This paper is beautiful. I'm ne not necessarily a purple fan, but it's stunning. But it look, is Barb's beautiful. like purple. Beautiful. Purple. There hey, she there's is. Tina. Tina. Okay, she's here. How is how you is this? How you is this paper? This is very tan. I think I don't know. Maybe it's too floral. Is it too floral? Hold for just a second, finger bladers. Look at this. Look how pretty these pages are. Look at all those purple. Look at this. See, this is what I love about it. It's not, it's not one note. It's you could get it and use it in so many different projects. That's what I love about it. Look how okay. I want to point this out to you. So many times we get paper pads and it's like there's one thing we can do with them. And there's one thing. This is literally two pages up. You have gold full zebra and then vintage seed packets. Yeah, because that's more mine, but the zebra is more yours. More me. And that I love because here's why I love it. I don't make cards just for me. I don't make cards for myself. I don't do folios just for me. But if I need multiple kinds of paper, this gets it for me. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's amazing to me. I love this. It does have foil. Yeah, there's foil in it. Look. It's. I mean, it's so versatile. Donna and Mac, I do not know when the glue press will be back in stock. It is uh, out of stock at the distributor, uh, at the manufacturer. So as soon as she has it back in stock, I will be able to order it again. Um, Amy Powers said it's multiple personalities, just like me. It's. It is. Um, and that's and what I love about it. The 12 by 12s are double sided where the six by eights are single sided. So. Good yeah. To know. Good. This to know. one, this one does not have a six by eight yet. It is probably on order. She let probably. this one come in. It may not be on order. That may be why we got to see it. Cause it does have its um, ephemera bits with it. By the way, these are puffy stickers. They're beautiful. Aren't they so cute? They're beautiful. They're perfect for the fronts of albums and stuff like that. They're so perfect for that. All right, then. This is the next one. Oh, this this one. My favorite. Look at this. So beautiful. Tina said she'll be by tomorrow to get it. it so it is, Tina. I yeah. thought it was. I thought Show it her. was. I felt, when I saw it, I was like, this is pretty Tina. Hey, I mean, because it gives just, her different things. Can we just turn this off and craft? 
because I like this next one. You never get up. to craft enough, do you? No, we don't get to craft enough. We need to do a year of folios. <laughs> so we can craft. We need to do something like that. Okay, look at this one. Again, uh, very, very different. Okay, I didn't really like this one closed, but open. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Wow, these are tags and they're foiled. Foiled again. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so pretty. I do want to make sure you know this. This is paper pad. This is, it doesn't, let me see if it says on the back, it's GSM. This is not, it is not copy paper and it is not cardstock. It is a good layering weight. It's a okay. good brand of its own. It's a good layering weight. See that? I think this is so beautiful. Look at that with the foil in the center of the flowers. It looks like lights. Oh, this one I love. I love this one. Oh, look at those. See, it's, it's like you don't expect it. It just, sweet little things pop out you don't expect. Look at that. Pretty. It seems like it would be very versatile because it has so many different things in it. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. oh, it's like so a quilt. Pretty. That's called something. Is that a cathedral? The purple pack is, that called? is called Dreamer. And this one is called Joyful Notes. Just beautiful. What is the name of that? Cathedral Square? Cathedral something? can't remember. Now, this one we have multiples in. So, this is what Shannon was saying. I'll show you in a second. So, here's the ephemera. This one is called Sunny Blooms. Just wait till you see it. Here's the Sold. ephemera. By the way, these ephemeras come like two. Cathedral window. That's what it's called. Or stained glass window. Look at this. They come in two on here. And then look at this. Everything you need for summer right here. It's beautiful, Everything. Okay, so here's what she was telling you. Let me open this one up. Where's the KKK? Y'all know why I'm opening these, right? Because we're going to use them. Because they're mine. Something you get to play with. All right, look. Here's what she meant. The backs of these are not blank. They're white. They're white. Remember what Thomas said? They're two-sided. That pipe, that pattern, that page. They are double sided. They're just white on one side. It's my favorite. You know what I just thought about? You could totally do that technique I did tonight with the same size strips and do this. Where I mix the sizes up, just do quarter inch and then leave the same gap between them. Same thing. That would be beautiful. It's beautiful. And the pokey dots. Oops. Oh, this one has foil. Let me get it to show. Get it there, it goes. They're so pretty. Oh, that has foil too. These are beautiful. Oh, look at that. I want to play with it. Let's look at the big one. Let's look at the big one. Pebbles. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this I one like is Sunny pebbles. Blooms. Pebbles, I think, is the designer of this, right? I like we're still learning these, but they're really great. I don't know. I'll tell you what it says. They're really great, you guys. Look, this has foil. Oh, it's wavy. You don't see that. You don't see stripes that are wavy. I like that. You see how they're not straight? Look at that bunny and that bee. That sounds like a children's book. The bunny and the, the bee. Bunny and the bee. Or a joke. <laughs> A bunny and a bee walk into a bar. That does not sound like a very bad joke, does it? <laughs> and they hop out real quick. <laughs> Look at this oh, with the foil. <gasps> this one is called Pebbles Sunny Bloom. I don't know. Is that how it's listed in the store? Yes. Look at that. I love the strawberry page. These are so beautiful. Oh, you're a peach. Thanks. You're a peach. Vinny, Lucky Mame loves paper crafting rather than jewelry making. Imagine the gems you'd be buying. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> that page is so pretty. He has to buy me other kinds of gems. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love Melbourne, right, Australia. 
Did I find out what time it was in Australia? I believe it's morning. Morning time. It's the next day, yeah. So they may be 12 hours ahead of us. Okay. Brace yourself. 11.15 a.m. Brace yourself, because as pretty as those were. Well, in 11.15 a.m.? In one part of Australia. So in that particular part, they are 16 hours ahead of us. This paper pack is Simple Stories, and it's called Remember. Just wait. Just wait. You won't be able to forget it. Get it. Roberta said it is Friday morning. No one got it. Maybe y'all got it. Oh, I didn't. Li I wasn't listening. I was reading Australia time zones. Sorry. What'd you say? I said, this one is called Remember. I said, just wait. You won't be able to forget it. Look at that. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. Wow. Here's what I think is cool about this. Let me just tell y'all. So there's two of these in here. Okay. There's always two. I want to double check before I tell you, but I'm, there's always two. Watch there not be this time. There is. You just haven't got to there it yet. Be. There it is. I okay. Here's what I look. There's two in here, right? What you do, you put this on the front of a folio. You cut the other one so that it matches up. Okay. So when you open it, you take the flowers away, but you still have the flowers underneath. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Look like you bought it that way. It'd be way. also pretty to um, fussy cut one that one side. And have your flower it. be. Yeah, that would be beautiful. I love that page right there. Look at these. Look at that tiny gingham. That's actually gingham, you guys. Um, It's all these different times. For Super Sanders, it's Friday the 5th at, I lost it, sorry, y'all, at 11.16. Tracy Taylor is 10.15. Y'all are making me tired. They just got up. I know. I will hold you in my heart forever. They're fresh. This feels very like my mother. I don't ever see a paper pack. I what think it feels that? like my mom. Kuna this feels like mom. Bar -bar 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 -in. I'm sorry. I just messed that all up. This is emotional. I can't read all these. It's okay. <laughs> Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. Gosh. That's a Winnie the Pooh quote, and it just made me cry. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh just made me cry. Winnie the Pooh is good at doing that. If there ever comes a day when we can't be together, keep me in your heart. I'll stay there forever. I'm toast. That It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I know everyone's saying make a folio about your mom. I know you're going to say that. I just don't think I can. I'm not there. I'm not there. One day, one day I will because I want to give it to Addie and Amy and Baby Jane. Um, oh, okay, I can smell it. I just can't read it. <laughs> All right, smelling it is bringing me back. It's bringing me back to, to where I need to be. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it would be pretty for Wayne. This doesn't feel like Wayne. I need um, Dale Earnhardt paper for Wayne. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom paper. I'm just going to tell you something right now. I would wallpaper my whole house in this. That'd be a beautiful bathroom. I'm pretty sure my grandmother used to have a bathroom in that wallpaper. I would literally do this in my, I would do it everywhere. Kind of to the point I'm ready to do some wallpaper in my house. I know I'm, a, I'm always behind the trend. I'm always behind the trend. But I'm real tempted to do my backsplash. To brighten up my kitchen. I'm real tempted. Don't worry. It's It feels off. It's not the real stuff. I won't ever do the real stuff again. I learned my lesson with that. If you're a wallpaper, I'm not I'm not trying to be ugly. But taking it off, it's better to paint it. My grandmother always painted over just, it. We did too. When she finally, got tired of it. And she loved when it was textured. And she could paint over it. And, and then, it yeah. made it just a whole different look. Do y'all see how beautiful this paperback is? That page right there. And he's right. It's very elegant. Because someone we love is in heaven. There's a little bit of heaven in our home. That's beautiful paper. 
Wow. It's tough when you read it. I want to read it to y'all, but I'm struggling. Winnie the Pooh's quite the philosopher. Have you not watched Christopher Robin? I've never watched Oh, this. my gosh. You need to go watch Christopher Robin. I'm going to read this one. I'm going somewhere else. I'm not in my brain right now, okay? It's hard to forget someone who gave us so much to remember. The loss is immeasurable, immeasurable but so is the love left behind. There's ever been a statement about my mom. <laughs> I just had to go somewhere else to read it. I feel it well enough in there. It's in here. It's back here. Gosh. Yeah, that's probably a true statement. She said, I can see anything done with these papers will have water stains from tears. Goodness. It's gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. What's the name of this paper pack again? It's, it's from Simple Remember Stories. From Simple Stories. It, here's the thing. I'm not this person, but if you know people who can handle this kind of thing, I'm not. I'm just telling you, I'm not. But if you know people who can handle like you making a memory album about their loved one or something, this is the pack. I'm not that person. I can't handle it. I don't know why I can't handle it, but I can't handle it. I can't watch videos. And I know people can. Like, I'm, this is yep. how I talk to y'all when you're not around, too. I'm like, I know people can. Like, I'm listening to this. Everybody agrees here. different. I do. I just, I'm not that person. I can't do it. Oh, it oh. smells so good. Can we look at my favorite one? Can we look at something completely different? <laughs> Love that paperback. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this we did not freeze, so it must just be you. This I mean I'm cold. Okay. I had ordered this before we went to Creativation. We had it in, we had it already on order. We got to Creativation and Janine was talking about it and she had it out on the wall for us to see every page of it. And I realized this is going to be probably the most versatile paper pack you buy this year, honestly. Because unless they do it again, unless they do black and white again. Because you can customize this page. And I'm going to show you what I mean. I had a marker laying over here. This is what I saw. I was like, are you kidding me? We can do anything we want with this. This is the charcoal collection. It's the color swatch collection. And here's what I want to show you. There were markers. Did you put them up? There we go. Let's say you're working on something. And you want something to be the perfect colors you want to match it up yourself look at this i'm going to take this marker and say i want this leaf leave this leaf to have some color to it to match my project and there's a bunch of them on here i'll just i'll stick in this corner a little bit so you can see what i'm talking about and i'll bring it up so you can compare you can see what i'm talking about look at this look at that I instantly made this my own. Isn't that awesome? That's very cool. This means whatever you're working we on. We lost Shannon. Oh, Shannon. <laughs> I, I love, love it. Shannon. Oh, they're all yelling. Shannon. <laughs> That's what I told her is going to happen when she steps on a manhole cover, too. I have to yell. Shannon. They, well, I mean, they are special markers, as in they're so special you should go buy them. These are alcohol markers, but let me, let me tell you why you should. Have y'all seen these? I and you shall receive. This is the Colorista markers. They are $9.99 a set. This is what you get. Now, I just sold these to a seven-year-old little boy this week. And I said, he was very smart about his money. He was very budget conscious. And he had a big old Nuvo marker set in his hand. And he could have bought those. He absolutely could have. But I said, let me tell you something, buddy. You need to save money for the beach. He was going to the beach on vacation. I said, let me show you these markers. You get two nibs. And you can pick out a whole colorway that works together. And that's what he went with because he could save some money. But they're amazing markers. But this is my favorite thing right here. Okay, so I just add a little blue to that butterfly. Let's add another color. Let's add, not green, let's do some pink. Well, let's do this color in the middle. Let me keep that out so I can get my paws in it. Y'all know I have paws. Not paws, paws. Yeah, we are not frozen on our, our end, so if you're frozen on your end, just refresh, please. 
do a little bit of that. Let's add a little yellow. So let's say I'm making a like um, folio for somebody or I'm doing something specific and I there's certain colors. Maybe you're doing a graduation album and you're wanting to do certain colors. Maybe you just like the color. Maybe you just like the look of this. I mean, we just customized this page. We just went from that to that. And that's me using pastels. Isn't that it's so impressive. cool? When I saw it, I was like, Janine, this is good. This is good because we can do anything we want with it. Imagine, somebody said they love to color. Imagine a paper pad that you can create in whatever color you want your own way. If you're a colorist, right? Um, it's like pre-stamped paper. That's exactly what it's like. Um, <clears throat> I'll see if there's something else we want to color in a second. All right, let's flip through here. <clears throat> Look, you can color all of this any way you want to. Oh, I need to be showing you the back as well. And then you have black and white. Charcoal. It's charcoal, not black. Look at this one. This would be fun to color. And Look it's right so here. pretty paired with a colored paper. See this? It's dark on the back. It's not going to show through. Isn't that neat? Now, I will say, if you're using like a red Copic that's super juicy, that will probably show. That I don't know. You might be able to see some of it. These are not, this, especially this, is not going to show through. Um, look how beautiful. A colorway is like, this colorway is black and white and monochrome. This colorway is pastels. Do you see what I'm saying? That's what a colorway is. So beautiful. Look, this one would be fun to color. Can you see doing those in like classic monarch butterfly colors? Like oranges and blacks and putting, taking your jelly roll pin and putting little white dots on it too. I mean, this would be so great. And I'm not showing you the back, which are also just as great. This is going to be one of those paper packs we just keep in stock because, I mean, you can even color this page. Love it. All right. I want to get to the 12 by 12. Look at that. Okay. <clears throat> then here's this guy and I want to color on it too. You want to hand me a different, you want to hand me a darker color? We can see what that looks like. Get the cover in here. I think it's on the back. I think I flipped it to the back side of it. Also, we have another collection coming from 49 and Market that we saw at Creativation, and it would work with this, too. It's going to work great. This will work with everything. All right, we colored that page already. Let's flip and find one we want to color. Our paper is so thick. I always feel like I'm getting two pieces. It is so thick. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let's do. Let's just go all out. Let's just go all out. Pick a color, Vinny. Hey, let's go to purple. I knew you were going to say purple. I don't know why I even asked you. I should just said Vinny would pick purple. <laughs> Green. Vinny would pick purple. All right, check this out. Brush nib and watch. So you needed purple. Maybe you just wanted that stripe to be purple. Maybe you're making cards and you need one section to be one color and one section to be another. Maybe you want to do this as a rainbow colored page. Look, you just turn it into what you want to. Whatever you want. You can make this rainbow colored. You could make it any color you want. I'm not being brown. specific with where my blue. colors are going, but you probably would want to. I can be brown. I can be blue. I can be violet sky. Look, love it. All right. And then. Look at these poppies. Look at these poppies. Let's use the color. Poppy. I don't know if they're poppies. I'm calling them that. They look like poppies to me. This. Oh, this is a good red. We can flip it over and see if it bleeds through. I don't think these will, though. Maybe you want these done in different colors. Maybe you're matching somebody's bridal colors. Baby shower colors. And I'm not losing the pattern. I'm not losing the um, graphic underneath. I'm not losing the design, which is really cool, too. They are alcohol markers. They are. So they do blend if you're good at it. 
And if you're is Mayday, it a flick surface? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to like this, but I'm going to try it. Not too bad. That's not too bad for a poppy. I mean, you know, kind of. All right, so here's this side. Let's see if it bled through. It does a little. I felt like red wood. Red's going to be one of those colors. But if you're like me, I'm going to do this and put it down on something. Like, I'm not going to. I mean, I wouldn't have this where you'd see the back of it. I wouldn't think. Isn't that neat, though, how you can just do whatever you want? I think that is so cool. And, and this how it would be pops fun. on the paper, too. This would be so fun to do with these big butterflies. You get two of each page. That's why. I'm, look at that. Look at this. And what if you only colored like a flower here, a flower there kind of thing? You know what I'm saying? I love it so much. Leave it black and white and just color one flower. One flower. Yeah, that's a big thing. It's kind of, I don't know what it's called, but that's a thing. Don't let that pretty. get gone because it's mine. Pretty. We drew on it. Or I drew on it. It's called pretty. All right, you guys have been asking about these. I think they are in stock. I think they came back in stock. A little while ago, we had some. We showed some Tuesday. We did show some, and these are the Colorista markers. They are nine ninety nine a set. They are alcohol markers. They blend if you want them to blend. They're sold in four colorways. This is natural tones, brilliant hues. This is soft tints, and the other one is brilliant. Is there? No, I've got brilliant. Ariel, rich shades. Rich shades and here's rich hot and friendly this is what we carry in the store and like i said they're 9.99 you can't go wrong with these you, i mean that's like buying kids markers 9.99 and they are alcohol markers and i would say they hold where's tamitha i would say they hold up as well as any other alcohol marker i've ever used and i've used at least four different kinds in my in my lifetime not well because i'm not good at it i've used them just not I, well i like them because they give you the basic colors. You don't have too many to choose from. So it's not overwhelming going, ooh, I need a brown. And there's 15 shades of brown. Because <laughs> yeah. I have a hard time because I'm not Tamitha. Tamitha can color. We keep calling her out. She's a very good colorist. And that's why we keep calling her out. Did I do it all? We did. They also have really have good color pencils. From Donna. Wow, Donna, you just spoke to my soul. <laughs> I actually told my aunt that, um, my Aunt Judy, who passed away earlier this year, <clears throat> I said to her, make sure you tell Tracy how to live without you because my mama didn't either. I was talking to um, my cousin Laurie at Wayne's service yesterday, and that was so emotional for all of us. And Laurie has lost her brother not long ago. Um a year before my mama, like it's just been that kind of thing. And we were sitting there and I said, Laura, you know, the truth of the matter is because she, she still has her mom. I said, I've never been an adult until mom's gone. And I'm in, I, I lost mom when I was 49. If I do the math, right. 49. Um, and I was not an adult. And I said, cause, cause Laura, do you call your mom for everything? She said, I don't make a single decision without my mom. I said, yep. I said, and my mom told me when to go to the doctor. She told me when to, when to go, when to prep for this, when to plan for that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I wasn't prepared to be without her. It never crossed my mind. It never was a thing I thought. And I, I, you spoke to my soul just then. I'm so sorry. We did not give you your crowd noise, but you did speak directly to me. Ready? I'm sorry. I feel like we needed to give you some crowd noise just then. Shut up. She's back. I totally got solitary that. crowd noise for me. Yeah, just by herself. All right. Things I wanted to tell y'all. We went over some of this Tuesday, but I wanted to tell y'all a couple things. Um, this is a really exciting development about Craft Acropolis, the one that's happening June 25th to the 28th. It's an in-person event here in Clanton, Alabama. You can still get yes. some tickets. Okay. Yes. Exciting events that have happened. So since I told you Tuesday what Penny had planned for her classes, she decided that she wanted to do three project classes and a separate free class. Am I doing something? Oh, I thought you were talking to me. No, I was waving. Okay. Tina said I'm back. Oh, oh and then I have back. a question. I have an a announcement on pennies. Okay. The sale is only in person. Only in person. Sorry, sale. So come see her. Come see her. But here's what she's going to do. 
you're going to get a bowl, bowl cozy class, a pin cushion class. That's going to be a fun one. I'm going to enjoy that one. And then the third one was a bag, a zipper bag. I think it was a zipper bag class. But the fourth thing she's in, she was going to do an Essentials 2.0 as one of her three classes you could purchase. She and I talked about it and I said, what? Because she wanted she wanted you to do three projects instead of just having one informational class. I said, what if you just do an informational class and let it be optional for them? So free to you, but do it at your store because we don't have a classroom to do it in because um, we're using all the classrooms um, because we're at, that's adding a class. And she said, I love that idea. So what that allows her to do is be at her store. And when she's talking to you about a thing, she can show you the thing, which make because she tried to do quilting essentials. Which I thought she did a great job, but she had to bring half the store in to show all the products. Right. So um, if you're coming, if you're coming to Craft Acropolis, we will have it where you can make that event as well, where you can go to her store, which is only a couple of miles down the road, and then you can take the Quilting Essentials 2.0. We're going to call it a field trip or a workshop um, kind of thing. And then I thought, do y'all want me to do some kind of workshop at my store for you while you're here for free? If you do, tell me. That would be fun to come here and do. We've never done that, but I think it'd be fun to do some kind of like demo or workshop or something like that with you. Um, and Missy could probably do the same thing. Missy's Missy's class, we talked about it today. If, I mean, it's worth the price of admission. I'm just telling you. You're getting three projects in her class. Not little projects. Three big projects in her class. So uh, June 25th to the 28th, you can get those tickets at maymayevents.com. That's Craft Acropolis, okay? The other thing I want to mention is Open House. Spring Open House is April 19th and 20th. So that's literally less than two weeks away. Ah, so you want to make sure that you um, make it if you can. If you can make it, come. It's going to be a lot of fun. we got vendors. We're going to have Mr. Jim here, my favorite, Mr. Jim. We're going to have um, the Clack Shack. We're going to have J&D Produce, which is Vince's favorite bowl, peanuts. Bowl peanuts. Also worth the price of admission, which is free. Absolutely. <laughs> um, we hopefully are going to have freeze-dried candy. We're working on that. I think that would be fun. And then, is that everybody? I think it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to be doing demos all day, um, the two days, to just show you maybe some stuff you've never seen done before. Or we just, when I go to Creativation, I love a good demo because that's when I learn things I didn't know. And so that's I'm like, right. we need to be doing that. I'm like, I'll walk up and go, I've had that tool all this time and didn't know it did that. So it's kind of cool to do that. Um, if you are in the club, the information for this month's club went up today. It did at I 10 a.m. So it's on the blog. It's on. It's not a blog. It's on your Made It Club portal. So if you want to see what we'll be talking about, and I'm really excited about it because we're just going to have a play date. It's going to be something that periodically that's what we're going to do because when we did Eileen's class, she said this and I loved it. I don't know if it was Eileen who said it first. Somebody in um, Scrab Acropolis made the statement. Think of this as the playtime, as your practice project, not your actual project. And that's what I want us to do. I want us to take the pressure down and I want us to do some techniques and don't care if they mess up. Like I want us to play together and then learn some things and take it to do something fun. So we'll be doing that in club, which is the third Thursday of the month. Yes, Roberta, that bone folder that we showed earlier is new to our store. Only because I have all their other ones. It's not new. We just didn't get it. Yeah, it's just new to us. And when we were going through, um, we were looking at all the bone folders that I already carry. I was like, you know what? I wouldn't mind having that. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know where all I'll use it. We'll find out. It's kind of, I just love these things. So it's not new. I've seen them before, but it's new to our shop because I was like, we should bring that in. Matter of fact, I want to say they really, first off, let me say this. There's nothing new under the sun. If you've read the book of Solomon, you know that. Okay. Um, if you've read Song of Solomon, you know that. But it, it's nice to see this in the in the little family of bone folders and things you can get. So I'm excited to have it. Great for rub on. And I, it is good for rub. You know why? Because it's got a little give to it. There's a little give. See it? There's no telling what we'll end up using that for. We did all fare well in the storms. We um, didn't think we were faring they were, well. They were scary. Not going to lie. They got fairly close. Um, close for comfort. At one point in time, we were watching the news and they were, I mean, there was a tornado that, I mean, it touched, okay. It touched down, it lifted up, it touched down, it lifted up kind of thing. Um, 
And at one time they were sitting there going, this is going right across here, going right. And I'm just like, our town is going to be destroyed. I mean, we literally were all like, I looked at Vince and I said, I'm like, how close? Listen, I'm like, how close to so charming is that? Like, how close to this is that? We were just watching everything. Um, And I literally told Vince, I, I mean, we realized pretty quickly that's not what was happening because after it had passed through, we weren't getting any Facebook notifications. Of any, I mean, people were checking on each other watching, and all that. Um, the storm chaser go down 31 and, and let us know showing everything, was fine. everything. And but honestly, I, I said, I, I felt like I was going to drive through my town and see a whole different, you know, like I, like a lot of you guys have done. I thought we were fixing to experience that come to find out either at one point when it touched down, it was a zero, an F zero. And then it changed to an F1 the next time it touched down or there were multiples. I don't know. But there were like, there's at least two touchdown spots in our area. And if you saw Clack's channel, you saw the damage near him. And it was an, a mile and a half from him. He said he's done the calculation. So the one, whatever went through there was a mile and a half from him going. It, that's crazy. And you can see the the damage that he um, filmed with his drone. So Mr. Jim's address is, his web address is, unique silverware jewelry.com that's mr jim yeah some of y'all got snow and we got tornadoes that's just the way it is i'd much rather have snow much rather what's my favorite paper trimmer one i can't get anymore so what's your new favorite paper my new trimmer? favorite i really do like this guy i mean the only thing i don't like about it let me see and i won't be able to get it to do it i will not be able to get it to do it on camera it ain't gonna happen Mine will. Yeah. Mine will not do it. Not on camera. I'll show y'all. This is the only thing to that me bugs me. It's not me. sticking as much as it used to, but <laughs> there is, from the there are side. times, there are times. Okay. Well, yeah. even then I got, there are times I have to stop what I'm doing and go up here and open it. How first world problem is that? Right. There are times I well, have to move my hand up here and open it. Um, these two are virtually the same, you guys. The difference is the color of the blades and the names at the top. I mean, they are. The my same. dress, my craft looks a little bit darker than yours in camera, but other than that, they look exactly the same. I'm using the Spellbinders um, because when we got it in, I thought it was a lighter, whiter color because I wanted a whiter one. But they're not that they're not enough different to even think about it. But I will tell you this, these they have released the blades. So we have ordered those. So you will have these replacement blades. But I'll also tell you if you have these, they're interchangeable. They work on both. Um, but this is the one I'm using now, the Spellbinders. I don't dislike it. I don't. Sometimes I have to literally stop what I'm doing and it won't do it for y'all for nothing. It will not do on camera. But sometimes it'll get. It's not. A, it, it doesn't like flop open oh, that I mean, close. Think, like it's upside down and the bar is still closed which is a good thing yeah so you can travel with it and your blades will it's a good stand. thing um we cannot get the cricket trimmer anymore this right here what i do really love about this one that i did not have with my other trimmer and you guys will like this too is the support out here this is very very well supported and very um firm and it has a really nice ledge a really nice ledge all the way down. See that? I really like that too. And I like all the feet. There are feet all over the back of it. So Laura said, okay. So it's not just me. No, it's not just it's you, not but just I do you. love it. I've no, gotten... I, it's good. It's a good trimmer and I'm not sad about it. And I will continue to use it. It just, I'll be in my zone and it won't open and I have to move my hand. And that she gets a little, isn't that crazy that I'm that spoiled? <laughs> She gets a little. <laughs> That's full. <laughs> you know, said I didn't realize how much I would like is this hole. Shannon put um, <laughs> fifty hundred um, oh, command hoops. <laughs> There's fifty hundred. You want me to count them? There's not. There's eight. No. Six, well, four. She has two on each side of her by her legs. Ooh, excuse me. Her um, cleaning towels on, and I have one over here. Then she has a hook to hang her trimmer on. She has a hook. Two hooks actually I have to hang hooks. her scoreboard on, and then she has my ink den is hanging on one. Um, too. Her, her ink den hanging on one, um, because the scoreboard doesn't have holes, so I hung two up so she can just hang it over the top of it. But this has come in real handy. I do uh -huh. like that because I'm the person 
thank y'all for wanting to send me a trimmer. I don't need one. I have about five yeah. Cricut trimmers. I have them. I just can't use them on camera because, and this is just a YouTube issue. Okay. When I'm doing a video, someone will say, what is that trimmer you're using? I want it. And if I'm using something they can't get, it's just too many emails. And that's how the, that's just the nature of the beast. That's the way our job is. But um, this hole has been so handy because I'm one of those people who craft and then I take this and like teeter it on my trash can or something because I want to be able to grab it. But honestly, I've, having that little hook I've tried keeps to me from putting her. it here. I've tried to Whatever, organize Whatever, you can't her. organize me. I can't. But I try. Constantly. You can't organize me. You can't. You can't handle organizing me. Nope. Well, I mean, I try. Um. Oh, good. That's good. Oh, I, listen, the cuts are great. There's no, I have no issues with the cuts. No issues with the cuts. No issues with the trimmer function. I mean, the, the score function on it. Yeah, I love it for um, both. You get, to me, I get spoiled because it does have a wide bed. So you go to six inches without having to put the arm out. And I love that. This right here, for me, is worth the price of admission. Because in previous trimmers, one of the reasons I never wanted a trimmer score combo is because inevitably you're, you were out here and you couldn't keep them on at the same time and use them all together. You either had to like pull one off to use the other one for the whole length or whatever. This one, because they have a little parking lot, it works great. I can park one up here and use this one and use the whole length of my trimmer, which I love. And I can park this one down here and use this one. You do have to get used to it. I am used to it now. I am. And um, I don't use one. I haven't used one accidentally in quite a long time. So, but you can do that. Make sure you always keep your cut blade in the same spot when you change your blades out and don't mix up your cut and your score because you might not notice, but you do get accustomed to which is on top and you will cut when you mean to score. And Stacy, that's worth the price of admission. I don't know why I keep saying that tonight, but that's, I'm trying to make things make sense, right? I need a new saying. <laughs> she said, that's my new favorite saying. I said, and that's worth the price of admission. There you go. Um, all right, you guys, that is our show for tonight. We're going to head home. I got to go put drops in a dog's eyes <laughs> yep. wash her hands and wash my hands like a thousand times. My hands are so crusty. Y'all, there's something you need to know about me. I'm a, I'm a hand washer. And like, I, I'll say to Vince, wash hands, wash hands, wash hands. He gets so tired of it. And I'm a sanitizer. Y'all know that I'm a, I'm a sanitizer user and I'm not a one pumper. I'm a two pumper. And Vince will say, I don't need all that sanitizer. Give me one pump. That's just me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because so, you pump out a half a gallon in your hand. <laughs> It'll just be falling all over the place, don't it? But, um, Dripping everywhere. It's crazy. I want to make sure that I say thank you to everybody for all of your wonderful um, messages, your thoughts, your prayers. Thank you so much for thinking of us. I have to tell you, Vince did an amazing job. I told you guys that he was speaking at Wayne's service and that he was nervous and he did an amazing job. It was, I think it was exactly what Wayne would have wanted. Um, and it was a beautiful service. It was absolutely beautiful. And we got to see a lot of um, our family and a lot of Dwayne's friends I haven't seen in years. Dwayne and I grew up together. And so seeing some of his best friends um, that I hadn't seen, I can't, we wouldn't even count the years. I was like, let's just don't talk about it because it's been so long. But it was nice to get to see people. Um, but it was a beautiful service. And Vince did an excellent job, as you knew he would. And he's going to close us out in prayer tonight. If you have a specific prayer request you would like for us to be praying about, head to our Facebook group called Created in Christ. You can share your um, prayer request there. One thing I do want to ask, we haven't said this in a long time. I want to mention it because we've had just a couple times. Um, we ask that you don't share personal information in your prayer request or share information that's not necessary in your prayer request. Remember this, God sees your need and he knows your heart. And we don't have to we, we do want to pray specifically, but we don't have to know all the details. So don't feel like when you go over there, you need to tell us every little thing. I don't want you to, I don't want that to scare you away or make you feel like you need to do that. Like, it's not like that. It's a prayer request. You can just put in, Hey, I need y'all to be praying about this. And when we pray, we know that God knows your need and we can just be agreeing in prayer with you. So um, just remember that. And sometimes also, I want to say this, just to let you know, if there's ever a time that we feel like, you got to remember this. There's a lot of different personalities and a lot of different people who deal with a lot of different things on that page. And sometimes things might be triggering the way it's said for someone's emotional state or something they're dealing with. And we know that because we've had this page now for eight, 10 years. So sometimes if that happens, if you don't see your 
prayer request being posted, please check your messages because Tamitha will message you and try to help you get that either worded in a way that it needs to be or something that just feels a little more comfortable for the page. It's not us editing out your prayers, nothing like that. It's just sometimes it it can be a little overwhelming for people like like me. You know, if I just had a big loss or we know that something that we've been praying about just didn't happen. It just sometimes is better if we just are careful how we word things. That's all. So it's very rare that that happens. I want to make sure I say that it's very rare. But when it does, Tamitha will message me and go, what, how do I handle this? And we always handle it together. And she doesn't do that without my help. But, and I appreciate her for that because she has to be very sensitive. Can you imagine having to, she has to be very sensitive in those situations and she does a really good job. So we appreciate, we appreciate her for that. And we appreciate you guys understanding all of that information. So if you do have a prayer request, that's where you can um, share it. So Vinny's going to close us out in prayer tonight. Let's pray guys. Hey God, I just thank you for today. I thank you for uh, your comfort and your peace. I thank you for the joy that only you can give. God, so many times life gets hard and our happiness can fade away, but our joy doesn't have to because it comes from you. I pray, God, that you would just be with those that are hurting, those that have lost loved ones and family and friends, for those that might be sick, those that might be struggling with a financial need. Uh, those that may just be having a hard time making making it, period. God, I know you're right there. And I, I know, God, that you want them to know you and to know how much you love them and just how unique and special they are in your eyes. God, sometimes it's hard to see ourselves the way you see us. But I thank you for your word that reminds us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. God, I just ask that tonight you be with every person watching. Thank you for them. Thank you for the sacrifice of their time uh, to hang out with us. I pray, God, that, that we just are always reminded to share the love that we have for you with them. So, God, they can, can see how much you love them by the way we love them. God, tonight as we all uh, head, our, head to our homes and get ready for bed. I pray God you'd give us a good night's rest. And for those that are just waking up <laughs> or those that it's in the middle of the day, God, just comfort them through their day. We love you and we praise you and thank you. Thank you for Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed tonight. We enjoy being with you. And until next time, bye now. Bye now.